pleasure. Thank you very much, Joe. And as is the process, the coffee chat is in session. And uh, joining me today, <coughs> that nice cup of coffee here, is Hardy Jokos. <laughs> Morning, Let Hardy. Enjoy your coffee. <laughs> I was just being nice. Uh, suddenly, I'm going to say good morning, sir. Uh, good morning to you, too. Let me just see if I do have some coffee in here. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, you, you will not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, let's get on with it. Um, the front page of the business day. Government and ANC opt to restructure SAA. And I like reading the subheadline because it gives us slightly more meat into what the headline actually means. Decision means airline is likely to require further funding to set it on a sustainable footing. This is a story that you've been following for quite some time. Mm. The article here appears to be pointing towards a bailout, even though it's not spelt out. Exactly. So what I think um, this article speaks to is the fact that uh, the business rescue practitioners indicated that there were three options on the table yeah. for um, the airline to go into business rescue, to liquidate, or to completely close the airline down. And we've heard uh, on Sunday already that government has committed to finding the two billion rand um, to give that cash injection to the airline. But the big thing here is where are they going to get that two billion rand? It's one thing for government to commit to saving the airline and keeping it as a national carrier, but it's a different thing finding two billion rand. Even though the lenders came to the party in December, uh, government needs to find that money and finance minister Tito Mboweni at the World Economic Forum in Davos even said uh, we are still trying to find that two billion rand. And for me, I think the biggest worry, Heidi, are the very comments I think attributed to Tito Mboweni, mm. who seems to suggest that this two billion rand that government has committed might actually come after the budget speech in February. In the meantime, how are workers being paid? Exactly. Not only how are workers go going to be paid, uh, how are operations going to uh, you know, function and be as normal as the airline is saying. And uh, the other big thing is that the Department of Public Enterprises indicated on Monday that government is working to get the 2 billion rand, but that 2 billion rand is only going to last until the end of Feb. So what happens after the end of Feb? And the indication we're getting is that in the February budget, um, we are going to see SAA getting a further cash injection. Just in the last decade, uh, SAA has received almost 17 billion rand in cash injection One bailouts. Second. Yes. So this airline is in desperate need of um, help, and it appears as though the business rescue practitioners are saying, we can rescue the business, but these are the certain steps that we need to take. And this is why they've reviewed some of their flight schedules as well, to say, um, these flights aren't full. Instead of sending two planes down, let's rather send one airplane down. Tell you what, the person who's actually going to explain this in simple language for us is Inok Kodongwana. He's probably going to be here at around 6.40, we're hoping. Uh, we're hoping that he makes it on time. Uh, Sandile, let's have a look at the front page of the Star newspaper and the main headline there. Thanks. Teachers, and I put the quotes here, played games as boy died. This is Inok Bianzi, Park Town Boys High. What in the world? I think the most shocking thing that um, came to life for me was the fact that two boys had already previously died in April 2010 at the same um, camp. So just in terms of that, that came to light in, in the course of this investigation. Um, and those families had to come forward and say, listen, this experience that this family is going through, we also went through it um, 10 years ago. So there is a precedent for this, as, as horrible and as, as ugly as it sounds, but it's happened before. Um, and the teachers playing games, they're throwing stones into, into buckets while 50 kids were almost drowning. And you can imagine, and then Enoch he floated or drifted away, wasn't accounted for because the roll call was on the bus, apparently, which is ridiculous. No, no, no. And the endemicity form. The roll call. If you listen to that um, interview uh, that was played on Talk Radio 702, the roll call was only done after the activity. No, I mean the actual form. 
So, yeah, this article, this, this far indicates that uh, they've, they've come to their own investigation to say that uh, apparently the roll call yeah. uh, that has the list of all the students' mm. names was left on the bus. And so the indemnity why, forms also. And the indemnity forms. So that is why the, sh the teacher apparently that was supposed to be responsible for roll call could only do that, I think, late on Wednesday. And that's why on Thursday morning they called Enoch's family to ask him if he even came onto the mm. trip. You know why? Because they had to get another roll call, which included 10 boys that actually didn't go on the trip, and they thought that Enoch was one of those 10 boys who wasn't on the trip, so hence they phoned the family. Yes. Is your son actually on this trip? I'd just like to know from you guys. I mean, the, what you're saying now, it just puts paid to the amount of confusion that has been around this story. But when the school says they are committed to this family getting the justice they deserve, what does that mean when they have been cagey about all of what is emerging now. N not only KG, I think the teachers need to take full responsibility. When there is a water activity, you don't know if that pupil can swim. How do you, how do you assess if that pupil can swim? They had no life jackets on. When we heard mm. what, the, what the lodge indicated, and they were saying that it was very shallow water and they were just passing through the water to get to the next activity. But if you can see that there is a strong force and current in the water, why do you allow that to happen in the first place? So the responsibility also lies in the teachers to say, even though this is part of the activity, perhaps we shouldn't. If you see the, the package that Lindor um, put together yesterday, he actually shows the wood and the shoelaces that were used. How do you use that in a strong current river um, that clearly shows... And it explains yes. exactly why that whole thing fell apart. Exactly. Yeah, all right. So the MEC, I think, is going to release uh, a report tomorrow on this very story by Nyazile Sufi. Sandile, on the sports pages, what's happening there? Let's take a look at the citizen. Um, the cock to be groomed with a picture of Graham Smith, of course, as the director of cricket for CSA in an acting capacity. Um, and they're speaking about Quinton de Cock. He's the new ODI um, captain for the Proteas. Um, so basically, Faf Duplessis, it almost seems as if this is the phasing out of Faf Duplessis, just in terms of his own participation in the national setup. Yes, he's still.